Hello Minecraft fans, Dave Case here, and I've got a mod spotlight for you today. We're going to have a look at Minecraft Comes Alive. So here we are, we're on the um, Generate World screen, and what I'm going to do is put a seed in, which will generate um, an NPC village, because the mod is all based around NPC villages. So uh, let's put this seed in. I will put this seed number in the description. Uh, so you can just cut and paste that. So let's generate this world and you'll notice straight away something different when you get in game. There we go. You basically have to choose a gender on what you want to be. So male or female, you just click the button. Obviously I'm going to go male, so next you can put your name in. I'm just going to leave it as Dave Chaos and click next. So as you can see, there's an NPC village right in front of me. Uh, so let's get over there. Do, 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 do. This mod basically adds, uh, well, replaces Minecraft's um, basic NPCs with um, better ones, more interactive. Um, you can have children, you can get married. So here's a guy straight away. Hello. Hi there. How are you doing? And someone talk to me. Fair enough. And this guy here. <laughs> Harry the Librarian. Wow. So let's have a quick nosy around see who's here. So we've got farmers. Hi, hi Danny. Um, librarian, of course, and there is a blacksmith and these guards. Ooh, look at that. interesting spawn. Hello. Your Faye, Faye the farmer. And your Nikki. So, what we want to do is. We want to have a. You want to look for um, a spouse, basically. You want to find yourself a girlfriend. Um, Who's this here? Alexis. Hi Alexis. Nice green outfit you've got there. So what you can do is you can right click the NPCs and you can chat with them. So Alexis straight away already has three hearts for me, which means she likes me already. So we can chat with Alexis um, and there we go. I lost a heart. She didn't like what I said to her. So let's carry on chatting. There we go. Gained a heart. We can tell her a joke. There she liked me joke. So, as you can see, there's other things you can do. You can ask her to follow me. Follow me! <laughs> and she should. Well, if that wasn't in the way. Let me just turn down this um, music. And turn that down. Back to game. Come on, Alexis. There we go. And she'll follow me over here. And what we're going to do is... We're going to charm her. We're going to charm her. Until she falls in love with you. So, if I go into my inventory now, let's have a look. You can give her gifts of all sorts of things. So, I'll show you. If I try giving her one of them, um, she, she, won't, she won't like it. What you do is right click, gift, and then click her with the item you want to give her. And there you go. Um, hmm, this is junk. <laughs> so she wasn't impressed with my gift. Let's give her something a little bit more impressive. Maybe a diamond. I was going to give her a diamond block, but no. Let's give her, a, give her a diamond. So a gift. There we go. And now she's got up to fourteen. What you want to do is you want to get her up to a hundred. So I'm just going to gift her a whole load of diamonds until she's at a hundred or more. And what will happen then is you can marry her. Well, you can give her a ring to marry her. There we go, she should be 100 now. There we are. Right, so she really likes you now. Really, really likes you. And what you can do is you can craft yourself a wedding ring. So what you're going to need is, first of all, you're going to want a workbench. You're going to need a diamond. And you're also going to need some gold. And there's two different types of rings you could make. I'll make both of them now. You've got what's called an arranger's ring like this and you're going to need two of those and I'll explain why in a moment that's if you want to do this and of course a wedding ring has a diamond in the top because women just love diamonds <laughs> don't they? right so first things first I will marry her and then I'll show you what the arranger rings do so what you want to do is gift her the ring and there we go you and Alexis are now joined in marriage yay Okay, so she's now my wife, and I get the option to procreate with her, which basically means I can have a baby with her. Uh, marry, migrate, 
I will tell you what that is in a little while. But for now, um, I'll show you what the arranger rings are for. So what you can do with the arranger rings, in fact, you come here, uh, stay there. We'll worry about you in a little while. So what you want to do, if you can marry all the NPCs, um, you marry them together. So, for example, Faye, follow me. And where did that guy go? Hey mister, it's your lucky day, where are you? Because you're marrying Faye today. So you get this guy here, and you tell him to follow me. And what you need to do is, you need to have them together like this, and move them away from the other NPCs. And you want to gift uh, them each a ring. And there we go, they are now married. These two villagers are now married. And they will have kids. So, it's all automatic, you don't have to worry about it, they will do their own thing, so I'll say stop following, and them two are now married now, and they will have children, and they'll carry on with their lovely little lives, so off they go, and that's what the arranger rings are for. So, what's that? Oh, hello, would you like a hand? <laughs> there you go, Megan, you should be able to get out now. So let's go back to our wife, and uh, hi. Let's get her to follow me, and I'm gonna go go somewhere private and get some Barry White music going. <laughs> so what you wanna do is right click her and procreate. She bounces around, and pop! It's a girl! Yay! So we've had a girl. You need to name your baby. So I'm gonna name her after my girlfriend, Tony. Uh, you can also do a random, and it'll randomly generate uh, a name. Done. And there we are, baby girl. Hi. So there she is. Now it takes um, ten minutes for your baby to grow up. So you can either, oh, where are you going? You can either uh, carry it around with you, or you can give it to your wife. So you gift it to her. So you go gift and right click, and there she goes. She's got the baby now. So you can go off and do your own thing. And uh, while you wait for baby to grow up, and uh, you get a little notification when baby's grown up. Now, when baby's grown up, let's get her to follow me in here. Uh, your child, you can set chores as a little friend to help you with doing stuff. So, another thing I want to do now is when you've got a home, or you just take somebody's home like this one, right click her and say set home, and there we go. And as you can see, the message is there. This person will spawn here at night. So, for example, if we tell her to... Oh, she's already following me. So if we get her to follow me out here. Come on. And we'll go just a little bit down here. And let's set it to night. She should automatically... Oh, sorry, one bu wrong button. She should automatically teleport. Billy doesn't have a home point. Faye doesn't have a home point. Okay. They will not tell... Oh, she's following me. Sorry about that. Stop following. And there she goes. Sorry about that. Yeah. So, as you see, it's night time. So she took herself home. If you're quite far away from home, they'll teleport. So, there we are. Let's um, set it back to daytime. And, oh, hello. Is this your house? Sorry. I've, um, I've kind of stolen it from you. <laughs> right then. So while we're waiting for baby to grow up, I'll tell you about some of the other things. Oh my god, there's a zombie. Kill the zombie! There we go. Right. Alright guys, calm down. Look, just... Yeah, you can tell people to... Hang on a minute. Just, just get out of the way. Right, what we're going to do is... We're going to try and find a guard. For every eight NPCs that you have, um, there is one guard. So, they should be around here somewhere. The guards basically replace the iron golems and uh, they will protect the villagers. So, let's try and find this dude. He could be around here somewhere. Do, 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 do. Hello? Oh, there he is. There we go. And you can chat with this guy as normal. You can also um, marry them. Um, 
this this mod will also allow same-sex marriage. So if you chosen to be a girl, you can marry a girl if you want, or if you chosen to be a boy, you can marry a boy. Um, yeah, so that's that's cool if you're um, you know into that sort of thing. Right, the guard. Let's um, change some options here. Let's put it on bright because I'm going to make it night time. Back to game. Stay there, mister. Set it to night. And we're going to spawn a zombie in so you can see what the guard does. Oh, we don't want one of them. We don't want a bleeding creeper either. Do, 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 zombie, there we go. Where is he? Where'd he go? You better not be drowning, boy. You better not be drowning. No. He's, he's scarpered. He's bugged off. Let's go find him. Hey, Mr. Guard. Oh my god, I'm supposed to get up there. You might recognise this um, village. Yogscast, uh, we're using this village for quite a few of their videos, actually, Mod Spotlight videos. Right, I'm just going to go and hunt down the guard again so I can demonstrate his abilities. Hello? Hello? Here he is, here he is, doing his business. Let's try and catch up to him. Hey, 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 look, look, zombie, look! Help me, help me! <laughs> Straight in there, murdered the zombie. I think this is actually a female guard as well. Hello! Yep, so there you go, there's the guards, doing a bloody good job. And like I say, um, there are uh, one guard to every eight villagers. So if you marry up a few villagers, build a few homes, um, you end up with a bigger village eventually, and the guards will automatically spawn. So that's cool. Let's make it day again now. There we are. And where's my wife off to? Where are you off to? Oh, you come say hello. Hi. Is that baby not growing up yet? Okay, so. Let's cut scene to when baby has grown up and I'll show you what you can do with your children. Okay, baby is ready to grow up now. So what you need to do is just right click on the floor and there we go. There's our baby girl. Hi! Well, she's not much of a baby girl now. She's she's a little a little child. So um you can interact with her or he and you can do all the usual stuff. Um, automatically loves you, 100%. Um, you can tell jokes, give them gifts, um, and you, all the usual things. Now, the different thing with your children is you can give them chores and they have an inventory. So, this, she hasn't got anything at the moment, but what you can do is... Let's have a look at chores. So here we go, we can get them farming, fishing, hunting, and woodcutting. And you have to give them the tools. So, I've got um, a full set of armour and a full set of tools already sorted. So let's gift all these things and as you can see she puts them on straight away which is great so you can get her all armoured up because she can come out and uh, you know help you out with with mining and all sorts of things and of course you can have more children with your wife which is cool. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention was when you do the arranged marriages with the other NPCs, I forgot to mention, is to get them to have children while they're together, uh, you've got to feed them cake, and that will cause them to have kids. I forgot to mention that before, so take note. Right, so I'm also going to gift all these tools, so she's all tooled up. And then we can do a demonstration of the way she works. Right, so if we check the inventory now, you can see that they have an inventory the same size as a chest and there's all the different items that you've got uh, she's got I should say um, and you need to give them seeds ah I need a hoe don't I let's give her a hoe um, as well so let's gift you a hoe so you can do some farming now if I say follow me here we go she's already got a sword ready she'll always, she'll always use whoa Stay out of the way of them. Hiding underneath there. She will always carry, or he, will always carry the most powerful weapon they've got um, by default. And so you give them a job to do. So, we've got a nice little grassy area here. So let's get her to do some farming. And you'll notice something straight away. So chores, farming, 5x5 uh, area, 
Uh, sorry, yeah, let's do um, 5 by 5 and click start. It should say, I don't have any seeds. So what you can do... Chase her down. Come on! Wait, 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 wait! Right. Here's gift some seeds. There we go. And then we can do that again. Chores, farming, start. And off she goes. She's doing the farming for you. Look at that. How cool is that? I love it, I love it. Oh my god, who's shooting at us now? Somewhere. I don't know. Where's the guard when you want one? Yep, and automatically place water. Genius. Placing the water for you. Okay, right, Tony. Got another show for you now. Now, if you do wood cutting, wood cutting in the village, she will go and cut down the wood from the houses. So you're better off getting them to follow you and going to the woods. So let's have a quick mission over over here because we've got a nice big forest. Oy. Here we go. There's a tree right here. Still following me? Yep. So there's a tree right here, and you go. Chores, wood cutting, start. And there we go, and she will go and cut that tree down. Awesome, and you can just go into the inventory. So you go, Tony, inventory, and there's the wood. You can just take that straight out of there. How cool is that? Now there's one more thing you want to know. Um, let's get ourselves a crafting bench. Uh, if you send your kid off for a chore, let, let's let her go for a wander. I just can't resist but break that. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Right, if you send her off, she goes for a wander. You can make a whistle to call your children. So this is a crafting recipe for the whistle. So you go, do 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 do. there you go, and you get a whistle. Let's give that a whistle. And there you go, they get teleported straight to you. So, let's let her wander off. And I'll have a wander over here. Ooh, there we go. And then whistle. And there she is. Hello. Yay. So, right, follow me. Um, what else can I show you? Maybe some hunting. Kill. Start. And off she goes. She's gone hunting. So hopefully she'll come back with some, some delicious meat for us. With a bit of luck. You should be back in five minutes at the same point I've told her to go. So uh, there is risks with ch sending your kids out hunting, but she should be okay. She's got a full set of diamond armor on. They can die when they're out hunting. So that brings me on to the next item you can make, is you can make tombstones, and they act. There's the recipe for it. These behave just like signs. So let's put a tombstone down. Let's stay over here. And there we go. So here lies. We go on to the next line, and we'll put Billy the cat because poor Billy died. Poor Billy. So here lies Billy the cat. So if your children or your spouse or any of your friends from the village dies, you can you can have yourself a little graveyard. Now I'm hoping Tony will be alright because she's got a full set of diamond armor on and a lot of diamond gear. So when she comes back in five minutes, we'll, we'll carry on and we'll see what loot she's got for us. Ah, there we go. So Tony's returned from her hunting expedition. Hello. Let's see what she's brought back. Oh, nice. So she's got six raw pork chops, a chicken, and some beef. Nicely done, Tony. Nicely done. Oh, come here. Hey. Come here. Um, health is doing all right. So let's follow me. Now then. There's a couple more things I want to tell you about before we wrap this up, and that is, uh, let's go back to my wife, I'll show you now. She's right in here. You can actually migrate your family to another map. So, if we go into here, hi, our child is returned. So, you'll notice, you'll have noticed before that there's this migrate button. So if you click on migrate, here's the message it tells you. So clicking yes will remove your family from this world and spawn them in the next world that you load. Clicking no will go back to previous screen. So let's click yes. They're gone. See you there. 
and let's quit and go to a another create new world we're just going to go for yep yeah, survival create new world and here we are and our family's with us yay so we've now migrated away let's get them both to follow me follow me follow me and there we are so after all your hard work you can take your wife with you if you if you're attached to them Tony's looking a bit what the hell <laughs> uh, yeah and there is one more extra little thing that's part of this mod if you play in hardcore mode and you die you can actually go back to your your map before it gets deleted as one of the children so all the information about this mod and the odd bit and bob that I've missed out because the whole point is you check this mod out isn't it uh, is, is all on the forum links below so I hope you enjoyed that I have it's a nice little mod and uh, make sure you rate and comment see you all soon